Hi everyone, this is your sewing teacher Veronica and in this video I will show you how to insert a bobbin in your sewing machine. I know that a lot of people have problems with that and I will show you how to work with top load bobbin and front load bobbin. Now I want to show you how to work with machine that has a top load bobbin. So bobbin comes from the top, not from the front. Sometimes it comes from the front. So what we do, I already have a threaded butt. Uh, you probably have your bobbin with thread right now and you don't know how to place it inside. So for all machines with this type of uh, load bobbin, you will need to do the same steps. First of all, we need to make sure that the direction of the thread right now is going against the clock. The easiest way to make it work, it should look like letter P. So this is my letter P. I hope you can see P. So in this case, the direction is against the clock. Then when I see my letter P, I place it inside into this space that I have here. And after that, most of the machine has small cover with drawing on it. And they show you what you have to do. Uh, if you don't have it, I will explain you. But if you do have it, it will be the same steps on every machine. But it helps a lot. So basically, this line, this is your thread. And you have to go first around this hook. We have this small hook here. I hope you can see it, I will show it close. And also here, this one. I place them together so you can see. So basically, um, this part is this small hook here, and then this part is this flat space here. So basically what they tell you, we have it right now inside against the clock. And first I have to go around this hook here this space so i go around it to the left side it goes to the left like that and then i have to go into this flat space here and the thread goes to the back basically i just take the end of the thread and pull for my thread when you pull for the thread it's easier to control the direction like that and then i pull a bit to the right side and then the thread kind of goes into this flat area and then basically that's it you have to close the cover okay one more time everything together first against the clock direction so it looks like letter p this is p then i place it inside and after that first i go around this hook so you just take the end of the thread and pull for the end and then depends where you pull in it will go where you want to so around this to the left and then into this flat space. So I basically pull to the right right now and the thread will be on the back of the machine and we close it. That's it. This is how we work with the top load bobbin. If you have sewing machine that has no bobbin visible here, that machine has front load bobbin. So what you do, you remove this top, not top, but front part. Then you open here and you have your bobbin right here. So. For this small hook we pull and it comes out and in this situation we have this small case on top of the bobbin so what you do just pull it out if it's like that right now and uh, you add the thread maybe in a new color for your new project and after that we have to put it back together how does it work okay we first step for us to place it back into this case that we have and right now the direction of the thread has to be actually not as letter p but the opposite it has to follow the clock so not p but the opposite this is uh, the direction that it should be so following the clock we place it inside of this case just push it in and we have kind of a small gap here and the thread has to go into this gap this is how it looks right now and then we have like one layer of metal you have to go against the clock so first the direction of the thread was following the clock then we go into the gap and in the opposite direction against the clock so again what i do i take the end and just pull for the end and the thread will end up in this hole here basically that's how uh, we do this one more time i will pull it out first following the clock like that that's how it looks again not p but the opposite then inside then the thread goes into this small 
space and against the clock. So first following, then against. And the thread comes out from this space. And after that, we place it into this space. You hold it for this, I call it hook, to make sure it's easier for you. And then this top part, we have actually a space there, like a gap also. So this part has to go into this gap. Let's try it. We just push it in and sometimes you can hear the click. Yes, this is my click. And that's it. Let's try one more time. I hold it for this hook. This goes on the very top into the space and you push it there. You also sometimes need to, yeah, with this type of machine, you actually have to do this, pull out the bottom thread on the top. What I do, I take the top thread and on the right side, I have a hand wheel. So what I do, I turn the hand wheel towards my full circle and then the thread, the top thread will pull out the bottom thread. If it didn't work on the first time, like I have it now, we do it one more time. And one more time if it doesn't work. Okay, yes, it works. So I have my bottom thread now on the top, below the foot to the back. That's it. We will close here and this part. Thank you for watching. I hope it was clear for you. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. Links will be in the description. See you in my next videos. Bye bye.